guys, today I'm going to show you how I made my prom dress. And because I bought a pattern online, I'm not going to disclose the patterns, but I will show you the steps that I took in making the dress. The pattern I bought was Macal's M7281, and it comes with the instructions as well as the patterns. For fabrics, I got a stretchy purple solid colored fabric, and then a white lining, and then a satin floral print fabric. You will also need interfacing, boning, a zipper, and hooks and eyes, which I didn't end up using. Now I'm going to cut out my pattern pieces, and for the ones with this triangle at the side, I'm going to create a little notch, and I'm going to cut the notch out with the fabric so that I can align the fabrics together. In total, these are the pattern pieces I'll be using, so it's 6, 5, 9, 10, 2, 3, and 4. With the bodice pieces, I'm going to trace them onto this gridded fabric and then I'm going to cut it out and then sew it together to see if I cut out the right size. And if I didn't, I'll make changes accordingly. Here's what I have for my bodice. So it's the solid purple fabric, the white lining, and then interfacing which is cut smaller on all the sides. For the interfacing, I'm putting it on the wrong side of the fabric and then here I'm just testing out a fabric strip, so I'm putting muslin on top and then ironing it for a few seconds. And then after I'm done, I'm checking to make sure that one, my fabric did not burn, and two, that the interfacing is stuck on securely. And once everything is good, I'm going to repeat this process on all bodice pieces, and that is not including the lining. And these are what the fabric should look like when they have the interfacing. Then I sewed the bodice pieces together and this is what it looked like. Next I cut out the pieces for the over bodice which consisted of the white lining and the purple fabric. And for the top layer of the over bodice I am sewing in two darts. With the two pieces for the over bodice complete, I'm going to put them right sides together and then pin and sew down the side seams as well as neckline. Specifically for the v-neck portion, you want to make this snip up to the point where you sewed. To finish up the over bodice, I am understitching the lining, so that means I have the good side of the fabrics facing up and I'm sewing on the line lining. This is what the understitching should look like when it's done. So I have the thread sewn on the lining and then this is what the back look looks like. The lining side of the over bodice against the right side of the bodice, I am going to pin them at the bottom and sew. So. I'm going to sew together the lining for the bodice. bodice. When I cut both front front over bodice to the shoulder seams, seams, you want you want to bake. Now to make I sure that you're not going to be sewing on the boning, fabric from the you sides. want to push back the casing so that you can cut the boning to be around 1.5 centimeters from the edge and then you want to also round the tip and then push the casing back. back. And, and you want to sew the down the two the sides lining. of the boning and casing. Personally for me, this is my first time like using this. boning and casing, 
So I did struggle with making sure that the Bonian casing were centered along the existing seam seam. to pin and sew the good side of the back of the over bodice and bodice to get together. Now with good sides facing each other, I'm going to pin and sew the lining of the bodice to the bodice. I did cut off the excess fabric and create the snip at the V neck pork portion. Also understitch the line the lining. This is the completed front and back of the of the top. At the bottom I cut out the two back skirt pieces and I have them right sides facing together and at the top I leave a little gap for the zip for the zipper. Typically this dress did not come with a pocket pattern, but the junior prom dress I made last year did and it was very helpful to have pockets so I just used last year's pattern and just did the same thing for this year's dress. dress. As you sew the pockets together, you'll be sewing the front and back of these skirt pieces to piece this together. I'll be pinning and sewing the top and bottom with right sides together and because there are so many layers I recommend doing a basting stitch first and then going in with a straight, sti straight stitch. I'll be attaching an invisible, invisible zipper. Especially for the zipper I highly highly recommend basting it first because one you want to make sure that it's the right size and two you want to ensure that your seams are lined up like, up like this. I'll be hemming the bottom of the skirt twice and ironing the whole, the whole dress. 